you. Thanks, Michelle. Space Age technology is now being redirected to the war on terror. A new device was unveiled today that can detect anthrax in the air and sound the alarm. Eyewitness News reporter Michael Ullman has a live report from downtown Los Angeles. Micah? Well, the anthrax attacks back in 2001 really opened up a whole new market for the creation of bioterror detection devices that could be put in places like airports or train stations like Union Station behind me. What you're about to see is the result of that market, the type of technology we could soon see in places like this in the months ahead. Dateline October 2001. A series of East Coast anthrax attacks kills five people, contaminates 19 others, injecting Americana with a new kind of fear, bioterror. Now, the latest device from a company that claims it can detect anthrax spores in the air within 15 minutes. Compare that with conventional methods that take days. In 2001, in the anthrax attacks in the post office, um, the alarm capability was people getting sick. And that's too late. Technology developed by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory to test the Mars rovers and ensure they didn't carry any bacteria to the red planet. Universal detection technology now using the innovation to create its anthrax detector. Claiming one $45,000 device the size of a computer terminal is capable of monitoring the air inside the average sized hotel air sucked into the device that would detect a spike in bacteria levels, setting off green lights and an alarm to first responders. Once anthrax is inhaled, it can take four days for symptoms to develop. If the alarm goes off within that 15-minute period, we have four days to isolate the people that were in that room or in that environment, begin Cipro treatment, and with Cipro treatment initiated at that time, we should expect no deaths. Though critics point out the device does issue false positives by detecting a spike in the level of bacteria in the air, not necessarily anthrax, at which point further testing would be needed. What could be a hoax? Though the device's engineers say where there's smoke, there's usually fire. It would be very unusual once you're measuring baseline spores and that you get a spike. Something has happened. And I don't know about you, but I'd like to know something happened, and I'd like to take something as simple as Cipro to make sure that, uh, you know, uh, I'm not infected with anthrax. Now, I want to emphasize this particular device has yet to be given the U.S. government stamp of approval. It undergoes rigorous testing in the months ahead to do just that, but it will be used at places like this summer's Olympics. But the big picture, the push for technology that can prevent disaster rather than respond to it. Live in Los Angeles, Michael Ullman reporting ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Back to you. Thank you.